We're going to unlock body armor uh, through here. I guess this guy, the, the armor, uh, is it still the chief that has to do this? Or because it's coming off here, can we do contraband at the same time? No, okay, we can't. All right. Uh, we Well, we'll just queue it up. Contraband's a good one to have as well, so that we can see the sources of all of our contraband. Oh, look, okay, this has been uh, built already? Holy crap, that was really quick. All right, we're going to have to knock down these walls then and replace them with... Uh, can we just actually do like a straight up replace the walls? Does that work? Will they just build walls over top of those fences? Because, I mean, we don't want to have... Oh, shit, here they are! Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's the maximum security guys have turned up. They've arrived. They're on the scene. They're being escorted to their cells. Who do we have? We have Stratton King, the age of 33. Oh, 25 years for murder. Oh, my God. We've got Burgess here. Attempted murder, 24 years. Mathwani. The math superstar, armed robbery, armed robbery, and perjury. These are the big boys. Jimmy Steers, where are you? Are you still here? Because if you are, you're getting busted up to maximum security. You're going to be well and truly in with the big boys. All right. We also want to turn this off because we have uh, 14 maximum security prisoners now that we barely have space for. And look at this. Why are they all so big? Holy shit. Look at, look, look at Barsby. Barsby's in here for aggravated assault, perjury, grievous bodily harm, violent disorder, and grievous bodily harm again. He's serving 43 years in detention center X. I can't believe it. Look at this guy. It's Jabba the Hutt. It's Benjamin Boys. He's in here for murder, 25 years, just casually having a shower with not a single care in the entire world. And now they're about to chow down on a hefty lunch of bacon. Holy crap. Oh shit, look at this. Blake has been put into solitary already for God knows what reason. I have no idea. We may never know, actually. Do we want to play it safe here? I think we actually do, you know. I think we want to play it safe. Instead of knocking down that wall, I think we're just going to build a door here to, uh, to open this up, and then we'll finish building it uh, that way. Uh, because... I mean, maximum security, we don't want these guys escaping. Can you imagine if they got into medium security or even minimum security, how much of a massacre that would be? These guys are seasoned, hardened criminals. And these other guys, I mean, especially these guys, <laughs> these guys are not. I mean, again, if you're a white-collar criminal who's at currently serving time in some sort of correctional facility and that offends you, I'm sorry. But, I mean, the guys who have murdered somebody in the past are probably the people that we should be worrying about and maybe not so much you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, just It's just one of those things. And, uh, and, and on that topic of one of those things, let us remove these lights before this guy comes and fucking screws up my whole day. He almost did it as well. He almost got right in there and screwed it up. Uh, what's, uh, oh my god. I guess body armor has been unlocked, and, uh, all the guards have now equipped themselves with body armor. Uh, which is utterly fantastic, actually. Um, I think next on the list is tasers. Uh, contraband is currently being unlocked as well. Uh, wow, that was quite the hefty bill for body armor. I don't know if you saw that, but I think we just spent about 2400 bucks on body armor for all of our guards. They're gonna need it as well, especially these fucking guys up here. Holy shit, can you imagine? Imagine this guy getting loose. Murder, 25 years. He actually pleaded guilty as well. He's got such tremendous balls. He's like, yeah, I did it. And that and that was that. And, uh, you know, you don't really want to mess with anybody who's capable <laughs> of that sort of behavior. And then just sort of takes it in his stride as well. It's probably the worst. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of this door. We'll finish up this wall. And then once that door and this wall has been sorted out, we can get rid of this wall. And then this will be safe uh, for people to work in. And if the maximum security prisoners want to, for some reason, come in here and have a look around, they can. It's absolutely fine. It's, it's no skin off anybody's nose because it's just a big-ass empty room uh, with nothing really going for it. Okay, perfect. We'll dismantle that. Uh, we'll get this wall built in here as well. Trap somebody in there. Holy shit. Look at this guy. Fucking came barreling down at the age of 21. He's in here for like a million things. He's going to serve 43 years in here. He comes barreling down the hallway past these armed guards just to get in because it's uh, chow time. He's just desperate for some chow. Unbelievable. I mean, if you guys want to have some jobs, look. 
I mean, four of you can actually work in there if you want. It's work time right now. Are any of you guys interested in actually learning the ropes in the kitchen? Because it's a thing. It can be a thing if you would like uh, that to be. Look at this. We can have so many kitchen classes, it's like unbelievable. Okay. Those are all the possible kitchen classes for anybody who is actually interested in kitchen safety and hygiene. If you're going to be in here for 43 years, you might as well do something useful, Rodney King or whatever your name was. King? Was it Benjamin Boys? No, he's 44. Where'd that fucking other guy go? Oh, he was just here. Is, was it him? Stratton King. No, it wasn't Stratton King. It must have been... Who was the guy that was 21 years old? Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, look at this. It's Christopher... <laughs> <laughs> Maximum security is definitely the place to be. Holy shit. It's, it's utterly fantastic. All right. Let's demolish this wall. Uh, and then we can uh, use the cloning tool to build out some of these other cells. And look at it. It's already there. Look, we can do this. Do something a little bit like that. A little bit like that. And like that. Perfect. And these other ones we're not going to be able to clone. Well, we can get one of them set up, I suppose. Uh, and then just clone the other two. Why not, right? fucking do it let's get some objects ordered then uh for here we'll get a bed uh we'll get a toilet we're gonna have to run some stuff into here a light uh very crucial a jail door and we'll also make it a cell cell perfecto okay we almost have more capacity uh, which is quite nice for these uh, maximum security guys uh, currently, a couple of them are actually uh, living in the holding cell. Is that all of them? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. What the fuck? Why are these guys in this holding cell? This is meant to be minimum security only, and we have a whole bunch of maximum security prisoners currently in the holding cell. I'm not sure how that's worked. Okay, we're going to move them. We're moving you guys into, into here. Look, can, can this happen? Can we actually move these guys? Or is there some sort of like lockdown that's preventing them from being moved? They're sleeping. This guy's sleeping on a bench. Okay, here we go. We're moving them all out. It's actually worked. Sandy is being moved. We've got Kleiner. We've got Blake. And we've got Hoffmeyer. This 37-year-old uh, who's in here for 23 years on charges of aggravated assault and grievous bodily harm. What a son of a... Son of a bitch. Grievous bodily harm. There's nothing worse. Trust me. If you've actually ever been grievously bodily harmed, you'll know as well that it is the worst thing that could possibly happen. There's no coming back from it. Uh, Alright, we're going to plumb in these toilets. I think we're probably also going to need some electricity to come down into here as well. For these lights. That's fine. We'll fall it down here. Uh, and that should work. And uh, And we should be good. Oh my god. I can't believe it. This has been like clockwork. Holy shit. Uh, have we unlocked contraband? We have. We can actually now see contraband and sources of contraband. Look at this. Oh shit. Look at... Luckily nobody's getting into here because look at all the crap they could make out with. Sigs. Booze. A mobile phone. More booze. Another mobile phone. What about uh, places that they can actually get into? Oh, look at this. They can steal drugs, needles, poison, medicine, and scissors from the infirmary. Luckily, that, that's not actually happening. That reminds me as well. We're probably going to need to have some sort of neutral medical ward in here as well. And encroach even further on the minimum securities uh, yard. That's fine, though. That's something that we could do later. Uh, knife, fork, spoon, all this stuff that you can get from the canteen and the kitchens and stuff. And I just realized as well... That in our maximum security part of the prison, we have no metal detectors. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. We're going to make sure that that is rectified promptly. We want to make sure that none of these guys are getting away with uh, stuff that uh, they're not supposed to be getting away with. Uh, I mean, especially because they're in. Hey, look at this. Hey, fuck Kleiner. Why don't you just move in and make yourself at home? Your toilet's not even completely plumbed yet. Uh, but it doesn't seem to bug him at all. All right, we're going to clone Kleiner's cell here uh, and get these other two cells set up. Perfect. It's all happening. All, all the work is happening while these guys are trying to get their beauty. See oh, look at them. Look at what a bunch of beautiful babbies. A bunch of beautiful maximum security babbies. Look at this. Gareth Roach is in here for driving under the influence. He's only got two years left to serve. Oh, my God. He's approaching the end of his terms. 
in maximum security prison or, or at least the maximum security wing of detention center x shit i mean it's not it's not very maximally secured it's got to be said but still at least they're not milling in with all of these other wimps down here and these not not so wimps there's a bunch of other guys here that aren't quite wimps uh okay should we go for tasers we'll go for tasers we're gonna arm everybody with tasers now we're gonna allow our armed guard to carry tasers, a potent single-shot weapon that will render most targets unconscious instantly. Tas tasers can only be fired once before they need a full hour to recharge. Holy shit. Uh, and they have to go to the armory and get that. All right. Uh, taser roll. Oh, this is the one. Extend the taser program so that your regular guards and dog handlers may also carry tasers for defense. That'll be great. I mean, I'm not too sure about the dog handlers carrying tasers around because I would actually hate it if one of the dogs was accidentally tased but i guess it does happen in a moment of madness you know during like a riot situation or whatever you never know maybe a dog will accidentally get tased uh, and then of course they'll have to call in like the humane society and stuff uh and and get all over our asses and uh you know sue us and stuff because, of course, tasing a dog is not something you should ever do. I think instead of tasing a dog, I think they use those tranquilizer darts that they um, they use, like, one of those, like, pipe things, you know, that goes, like, foomp. You know, like the witch doctor in Diablo? That's how they do it. They don't use, like, a gun or anything because you don't need to. It's just, like, how the Incans used to do it or whatever. <laughs> so, like, the Mayans, they used to use those pipes with the with the blow darts. You know what I'm talking about? No? Okay. Well, I'm sure somebody maybe out there might know. And if not any of you, I'm sure that my dad knows because I'm actually quite positive that it was my dad who told me about it in the first place. Uh, so there you go. Holy shit, look at these guys. They're all trying to have a shower with their clothes on. Holy cr Talk about crack. Benjamin Boys, at the age of 44, has a stunning crack. Look at that. And he's showing it off for all to see. He doesn't care who's looking. I just got a nice close-up of his crack. All right. Uh, this is going to be an office. Uh, we're going to set up this office. Uh, where's the office? Office. This is going to be the psychologist's office. Uh, we're going to have to get some uh, lights in here. He's going to need some lights uh, so that he can shine a light on the psychological problems of prisoners. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so they can come in here and they can uh, cry to him about um, all sorts of crap and can try to help them out and stuff. I think it's like a good thing. Uh, that that this sort of stuff can happen. We're gonna get some chairs in here. We need one chair for him to sit in, and he needs another chair for his person who he's counseling to sit in as well, um, which is great. Okay, uh, we're going to then uh, get rid of this office, and hopefully this guy can uh, then come here. Can you go over there? No. We're getting rid of this office, so you're gonna have to go somewhere else. Look, you're gonna... There, okay. He's taken his new office within the secure part of the prison, if you can believe that. And he's open for people to come and visit him anytime they please, uh, so long as he can manage to get some electricity. And we have to be careful here because we don't want to... <laughs> we don't want to cross the streams. We don't want the security... Or, sorry, the electricity from this part of the prison to... Uh, meet up with the with the electricity from this part of the prison because apparently we can have some sort of nuclear meltdown and we don't want to have uh, a nuclear meltdown and a whole bunch of mutated prisoners that we have no control over holy shit 5183 bucks a day is what we're making in detention center x unbelievably uh we have capacity for 67 prisoners our maximum security wing is done. It's fully functional. Look at this. It's actually working. And our psychologist is now ready to receive people uh, in some sort of program to do with behavioral therapy. Look at this. Behavioral therapy. He has a 10 to 12 slot. And he also has a 5 to 7 slot. And nothing else. Okay. The psychologist is now on duty. He is ready for people. There's six people in the queue, and none of them seem interested in signing up. But uh, before long, I'm sure they will be. Uh, foundation education program is still steaming ahead. We still have people uh, in uh, that class, the 10 to 11, or sorry, the 10 to 1 slot, and kitchen safety and hygiene. We've had 15 people pass who are now Michelin star um, 
chefs, cooks, making up all sorts of fantastic uh, grits and grubs for all of their fellow inmates. Fantastic. Great. Well, uh, we now have cell block A, B, and C. Uh, life in Detention Center X is somewhat uh, okay. We've got some more grants to finish off, uh, which we'll continue finishing off. We'll move the infirmary to like this neutral uh, area here uh, so that that can work a little bit better. And these guys, if they do manage to shank each other and, and bleed out and almost die, they can be brought here. That would be cool. We also need to get this visitation center set up. Uh, but we could do all of that next time. We'll do all of that next time. We'll be back for some more episodes, Detention Center X, and we'll finish off um, all of the bits and pieces and make sure that Detention Center X is running in tip-top shape. Not that it isn't already. We've had no major drama since that last riot, which seems to be like forever ago now. Uh, and we've made some good progress in the meantime. So that's great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.